The news this week is it's been rough for mortgage rates. The consumer price index report rose more than was forecasted, which suggests that inflation remains stubborn. People have been optimistic about the Fed cutting rates this year, but sentiments are waning that we'll see a rate cut in June. What this means for mortgage rates is that they've gone higher and they'll likely remain a bit higher for months to come. National average according to Mortgage News Daily is 7.37% for a 30 year fixed. But do not fret, there are always ups and downs and we see daily changes. Remember, it's impossible to time the market. Instead, let's talk about ways to combat these higher rates. A temporary buy down is a fantastic option. My recommendation would be a two year term where your interest rate is reduced by 2% the first year, 1% the second year. The cost of the buy down would be paid for by the seller, so it would need to be negotiated into your offer. For a $400,000 loan, the seller would need to pay about $10,000, but you would save $520 a month the first year and $265 a month the second year. That's a lot of bang for the buck. By year three, your payment and rate would go back to today's rate, but the idea is that you'll be able to refinance by then. So I'm not trying to be too Pollyanna here, but I do like to find the good in situations. The benefit for you with these higher interest rates is it's keeping more buyers on the sidelines. What this means is a seller may be more inclined to entertain your request for a discount. You can capitalize on the reduced demand. It sucks watching home prices go up as a home buyer, but it is awesome when you're a home owner. When buyer demand picks up, so will prices. So you have an opportunity right now.